Titan, the enigmatic satellite orbiting Saturn, has captivated the imagination of scientists and space enthusiasts alike. This celestial body, shrouded in mystery, possesses a plethora of extraordinary features that set it apart from any other in our solar system. From its unique atmosphere to its Earth-like landscape and the possibility of life, Titan beckons us to delve into its enigmatic nature. Among Saturn's 63 known moons, Titan stands out as the largest and most remarkable. Its colossal size, with a diameter of 3,200 miles, surpasses even that of Mercury and is only slightly smaller than Mars. This makes it accessible for amateur astronomers to study without the need for professional-grade telescopes. However, until recently, Titan remained a perplexing enigma. Discovered in 1655 by astronomer Christian Huygens, Titan was initially mistaken for a star. It wasn't until the Pioneer 11 probe and subsequent visits by Voyager 1 and 2 that scientists could gather limited information about this mysterious moon. Nevertheless, even the initial images showcased something peculiar, the hazy layers that obscured Titan. Further investigations revealed that the top layer of this haze primarily consists of hydrogen and nitrogen. Renowned astrophysicist Carl Sagan rekindled interest in studying Titan when he suggested that the moon's surface temperature of negative 290 degrees Fahrenheit could support an ocean of liquid methane, given methane's ability to turn into a liquid at such frigid temperatures. Just like the gas we use for cooking on Earth, imagine a place where methane rains from the sky, forms rivers, and eventually flows into gigantic methane seas. In 1997, the Cassini probe embarked on a mission to study Saturn and its satellites. Though Titan was not the primary focus, the Cassini probe included a special lander spacecraft called Huygens, which was launched toward Titan in 2004. The descent of Huygens took about two and a half hours, providing us with a unique opportunity to witness the journey to Titan's surface. However, the dense atmosphere caused Huygens to deviate from its planned trajectory and spin uncontrollably, resulting in ruined images. Nonetheless, the descent shed light on the extent of Titan's atmosphere, which reaches over 300 miles above the surface, the highest in the entire solar system. Titan's atmosphere is composed of different substances and exhibits diverse temperatures. While the surface temperature is a bone-chilling negative, 290 degrees Fahrenheit, the temperature at an altitude of 200 miles is significantly warmer, measuring around negative 130 degrees Fahrenheit. At the very top, the Titan sky turns blue due to the predominance of nitrogen and hydrogen. Around 250 miles, an orange haze begins to form, extending downward to 60 miles before clearing as one approaches the surface. The surface of Titan, visible from a height of about 30 miles, appears strikingly familiar, reminiscent of Earth's landscape with its mountains and rivers. During the landing of Huygens, images revealed the even opacity of the orange haze layer, which prevents sunlight from reaching the surface. On a sunny day on Titan, the surface appears textured but relatively flat, with the highest parts rising merely 0.6 miles. Examining the first images captured by Huygens upon landing, scientists noticed smooth ice rocks resembling pebbles, suggesting that the spacecraft landed in a dried-up bed of a methane river. Curiously, no traces of liquid were found, raising the question of where the supposed methane rivers vanished. Images were processed and combined to form a collage, revealing a river system with branching streams akin to Earth's landscapes. This led to several theories regarding the disappearance of liquid methane. Some proposed that the rivers experienced cycles of filling with methane rain and subsequently drying up, while others suggest that the methane rivers drew liquid methane from now inactive underground springs. Further data collection by the Cassini probe during 127 flyby missions in Titan's orbit promises to shed more light on its mysteries. Cassini's photographs of Titan's atmosphere have already allowed scientists to discern its opacity. The atmosphere consists of multiple layers, with the first layer serving as the primary factory for producing complex organic compounds in the solar system. At an altitude of over 300 miles, methane, nitrogen, and hydrogen are exposed to sunlight, transforming into more intricate elements that descend toward the surface, forming new layers. 
between 200 and 250 miles, a tholin haze composed of soot-like particles forms, resembling the byproduct of combustion processes on Earth. The third layer, starting at around 200 miles, contains ethane gas, which exhibits a unique anti-greenhouse effect. This layer, along with the tholin haze, creates a shield that traps heat at 250 miles and maintains the frigid temperatures near the surface. Despite its dynamic climate, with rapid changes compared to Earth, Titan experiences tropical methane storms. Cassini captured an image of a massive storm known as the Arrow, spreading across an area of 200,000 square miles. The slow descent of raindrops, the size of pears, adds to the awe-inspiring spectacle. The atmosphere's composition, primarily nitrogen with 3.5% methane, parallels Earth in many ways. However, Titan's intriguing aspect lies in the fact that its chemical processes occur higher in the atmosphere, leading to copious amounts of organic compounds descending to the surface over its 4.5 billion year existence. Studying the atmosphere's composition and layers, scientists encountered another mystery, methane, which according to calculations, should have vanished from the atmosphere 10 million years after its formation. Yet, the presence of methane continues to persist, raising questions about its source. Some scientists posit that the initial formation of Titan involved an excess of methane, which has not depleted to this day. Others suggest that chemical processes on the surface, or even methane-producing organisms, contribute to maintaining the methane levels. This presents the first hints of potential life, albeit primitive, on Titan. The second puzzle revolves around the abundance and distribution of hydrogen in Titan's atmosphere. There should be roughly two and a half times less hydrogen than observed. The scarcity of hydrogen near the surface, as opposed to an excess at higher altitudes, leads scientists to consider biological processes that might be utilizing the descending hydrogen, resulting in a shortage near the surface. Exploring the surface of Titan reveals an uncanny resemblance to Earth. Topographic maps captured through radar imaging highlight similarities in relief, and the scarcity of craters suggests the presence of an extremely dense atmosphere that incinerates small meteorites before they impact the surface. However, the surface's smoothness presents a challenge in determining its geological activity and the presence of tectonic plates akin to Earth. Initially, dark regions on Titan's surface piqued scientific interest, leading to theories of methane oceans. However, the Huygens lander dispelled this notion upon discovering no liquid in those areas. Closer examination revealed that these dark spots are deserts, strikingly similar to Earth's desolate landscapes. Titan's climate system, with distinct seasons and wind patterns, has given rise to a dune system composed of tholin soot and organic substances. Due to the moon's low gravity, winds as gentle as 11 miles per hour are enough to initiate dust storms, shaping the organic sand into dunes. Unlike on Earth, where raindrops wash the sand, on Titan, the prevailing theory suggests that the sand falls directly from the Tholin haze, covering the surface like snow. Investigations into Titan's liquid bodies led to the discovery of the first methane lake Ontario at its south pole. This remaining lake is surrounded by numerous dried up lakes whose composition and shores remain a subject of debate. At the North Pole, extensive seas were found, with rivers flowing into them. These unique liquid bodies, such as Kraken Mare and Ligia Mare, are unparalleled in the solar system, aside from Earth. The most intriguing question surrounding Titan is whether it can sustain life. Two perspectives emerge based on conditions we know on Earth. One view considers cryovolcanoes where warm water erupts from cracks in Titan's icy surface. This suggests the presence of a subsurface ocean sandwiched between layers of ice, experiencing tidal forces caused by Saturn's gravitational pull. This ocean, rich in water and organic compounds, gives rise to conditions similar to those on Earth billions of years ago. Alternatively, some scientists entertain the possibility of methanogenic bacteria on Titan. Just as on Earth, these bacteria could thrive on hydrogen and acetylene, producing methane as a byproduct. This theory explains the scale scarcity of hydrogen near the surface, and the abundance of methane in the atmosphere, even though it should have dissipated long ago. 
However, the challenges lie in methane and ethane's suitability for supporting life, as they do not act in the same manner as water, a versatile solvent that aids in the processes of microorganisms. Yet, recent discoveries of ozotosomes, organic compounds that could form protective membranes for cells in a methane environment, offer a potential solution. Additionally, observations from ALMA telescopes have unveiled the presence of a substance in the Mexican desert that can create these protective membranes, suggesting the plausibility of hosting a vast number of organisms within a limited space on Titan's surface. As we await future missions to Titan, hoping to uncover the mysteries of its origins and potential for life, we can participate in the exploration ourselves. Through telescopes, we can observe Titan, a cold but living mirror of Earth's ancient past, and ponder the possibilities of life in such a distant and frigid realm. Do you think Titan holds alien life? And if you had the possibility, would you explore Titan? Let us know your thoughts on the comment section below, and if you enjoyed this video make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more captivating content on science and the universe. Thanks for watching.